Hey everyone, so Azure AD has got renamed. Now we've been using Microsoft Entra for a while now. We're used to this product family that included things like Azure AD, but also things like the permissions management. Also, we had the idea of verified ID and other identity security type solutions were going into that Microsoft Entra product family. But what we've announced now is, well, Azure AD has been renamed. And what it's been renamed to is Microsoft Entra ID. So the identity provider solution that was Azure AD is now Microsoft Entra ID. And I never liked the name Azure AD. Obviously they took what was Active Directory branding that we're used to on premises and added Azure to the front of it, but it was never just AD in the cloud. So now we think of Entra as that entryway into all of our services, that single sign-on, that great centralized security. So Azure AD becomes Microsoft Entra ID. Now with that, other things get renamed. From a licensing perspective, we're used to the idea of Azure AD Free and P1, P2. Well, those become Microsoft Entra ID Free P1, P2. But then other aspects that we're used to the idea of Azure AD, well, they're gonna rename without the ID part. So if I think, well, okay, we also had things like App Proxy. So we had Azure AD App Proxy. Well, that's gonna become Microsoft Entra App Proxy. It does not have the ID as part of that name. Same for if we think about Azure AD Connect. Same for an Azure AD Tenant. Those become a Microsoft Entra Connect. Microsoft Entra Tenant. And that idea goes on. Microsoft Entra Conditional Access. Microsoft Entra MFA. Um, Microsoft Entra Password List. Microsoft Entra Joined. Microsoft Entra Registered hybrid Microsoft Entra joined. And so Azure AD is the identity provider, is renamed to Microsoft Entra ID. It's licensing, hey, Azure AD free, P1, P2, Microsoft Entra ID free, P1, P2. But other features, they just take the Microsoft Entry name. So Azure AD at proxy, Microsoft Entra at proxy, Microsoft Entra connect, Microsoft Entra tent, et cetera, et cetera. So that's it, it's not changing the functionality. I imagine it will take many months to see all of the various portals modified to that. We'll probably still see Azure AD hidden away behind the scenes in many, many places. Some things that are getting deprecated will not get renamed. If you think about the Azure AD Admin Center, that's going away. We just used the Microsoft Entra portal. Azure AD Graph, Azure AD PowerShell, the Azure AD Authentication Library, those were going away in favor of things like the Graph and PowerShell, etc. But that's it. So it's not super complicated from the licensing and the identity provider is Microsoft Entra ID. For all of the features of it, it's just Microsoft Entra at Proxy, Tenant, Connect, etc. So I hope that clears it up. Until next video, take care.